So hi guys, today we're finishing off our Christmas scene that we did um, yesterday, or if you're late to the party, here we are with our Christmas scene. And today we're going to be animating it so that it looks just like this, with some snowflakes and some silhouettes of trees in the background. If you haven't watched my first video, go first video go back and watch that before you come and animate this. Or you can really just watch this if you want to just learn how to animate the snowflakes and do the tree silhouettes. Anyway, let's jump right into it to learn how to do it. So we're going to just start off with this Christmas scene that isn't complete yet. It's not, um, And we're just going to add some tree silhouettes to start off with. So this adds a bit of depth to the picture. So all you need to do is just go and search up some Christmas tree silhouette. And I'm just going to take this one. And you can see we've got a bit of a, um, a, bit of a watermark on it. But that's fine. I'll show you how to get rid of that. So if we just copy, if we just copy the image across and then Control V into our PowerPoint, all we really need to do is just click on it, go to Picture Format, and go um, Color Black and White. Seventy-five percent is better if you do this this one. So there we go. We've got some um, black and white trees. Now what you need to do is go control, right click and then go in the Paste Options Picture, or you could do um, U for that. So we're going to go back to picture format and we're going to go color, set transparent color, and then click on this white here. So there we go, we've got our tree silhouettes right now, but we need them to have a different, like, have a different, like, consistency of um, gray, I guess, a different darkness of gray. So all we need to do is just se separate these trees first, and we're just going to go crop. There's nothing much really to it, you just really need to just crop the pictures and then just copy that control y y and then click on the next one crop just move this along okay so we've got two trees now um now for the third tree and really you don't need to use these tree silhouettes exactly you might want to if you want to just exactly but obviously you can just find any tree silhouette you want uh, but just try not to do too many because too many different ones unless you want it looking really good because It'll take a lot of time just to crop all these images out Okay, you can see we've got some trees now But we need a sense of depth and all of these items these items in the front the snow items the Christmas tree here and the house is all in front of it. So we can go um, Select reselect them all Go picture format and then go bring to front so you can see now the trees are all the way at the back but the other thing that we need to do when we're trying to get depth in our scene is make it the correct size because we can see these trees are towering over the Christmas tree even though the Christmas tree is much closer to us and it should be around similar size so we're just gonna size them and you can just hold you can just hold shift to select all of them and then just size them down and we're going to bring them up over the hill and then we basically want to just make different colors so you can go to picture format and then go color and you can choose for example wash out which will create it a, a light gray um light gray which will make it a bit darker than the washout gray accent color three dark which will just make it like a middle gray ish or you could always just go with a black um in these black and white settings or just leave it as it is okay so we're gonna just choose wash out there we go and the lighter ones should be closer to us and the darker ones should be further behind so let's just make all of these wash out if we can select this the other thing is uh, I've touched on this before with my selection pane video but I'll just run you through it here. When you're doing these sort of scenes, you might want to use the selection pane just to hide images that we don't really need, so that we can actually select the ones that we need. And you should try and move your stars out of the way just so that they're not, like, behind our Christmas tree, if I can even select the star, which I don't think I can do. Uh, uh, let's just select it here. Okay, we can just move that away and then size it down. Because we don't want it like right next to the the tree. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's zoom in again. Go picture format. Go wash out. Wash out. 
wash out. There we go, once again, wash out. Okay, so these ones are going to be our foremost um, ones, and you could probably size this one up a bit. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty nice. Okay, let's move this in a bit. Now what we're going to do is just choose a random one. Now we can rotate it a bit, add a bit of depth, uh, and like landscape topography, and just send that backwards. And we're going to make it a grayish maybe a dark gray actually um there we go and we're going to copy this over <coughs> forgive me um we're just going to size this up a bit and we're going to make it a light gray here send that back a bit and there we go we've got we're adding some more depth just choose another one obviously you can size it down rotate it a bit Much rotation that must be a very bumpy landscape there we go, send that to back. Okay, and then we're gonna make this very dark. We're gonna make it the darkest gray. And there we go, we've got our trees as darkness. And you can see it's sort of going off the map a bit. Um, and if you can't see that, just have a look over here, um, which you can pull up with this over here. And you can see that our, our trees are actually being cut off, which is not what we want, so we can just move them along here so that you can actually see them and there we go that looks and there we go that looks really really nice um and that might be a bit too big we can just group them and then size them down it's a bit big because it's almost touching the moon which isn't very good okay there we go very very nice okay we can bring back our christmas tree in the selection pane over here and what we're going to do now is we're going to add our snowflake animation I'm not going to run you through the snowflake animation here, so you might be wondering what is the point of this video. Um, and the point is, um, we're going to incorporate the snowflake animation. If you've seen my channel or been watching it for some time, you might remember a snowflake animation that I did like a week ago-ish. And you can click in the top right corner here to learn that. Um, just open that in a new tab. And once you've done that, come back to the video. You can pause it right now, do the snowflake animation, and come back here. Okay, so I'm guessing those watching are either watching for entertainment purposes, which is a bit weird if you're just watching me animate for no reason, or you've actually done the snowflake animation. Done. Um, I might be able to put a template up on my website, so if you can't be bothered to do the snowflake animation, I will do that and put a link in the description as well. Um, but once you've done that, all you need to really do is just copy in one of these. I'll maybe I'll let me just watch them because I've got two for them because I've got two actually um uh yeah I think I like this one a bit more okay so I'm just gonna it should be all at the bottom because if you haven't watched my snowflake animation it's basically a bunch of fly in and spin animations on it so we're just going to use our box select here by clicking with the mouse copy select them all and then go Control c Control v into our powerpoint and there we go now this isn't it because if we go into the animation pane and the animating tab um, you can see that it's going in front of everything as if it's just ignoring all the hills the hills which doesn't really make sense so what we're going to do is we're going to select these first three hills here and we're going to go shape format and then bring to front and there we go this is our final animation and I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out some of my previous Christmassy animations or my other text and other stuff like that in PowerPoint. If you like the content I'm doing here, make sure to subscribe down below, hit that like button and comment what you think. Anyway, I'll see you next time and click on this random video here to learn some more animations. See you next time.